Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mini Sephora haul. If that's something you're interested in, then definitely keep watching. So as you guys know, I was recently in New York for like a couple days. It was a very, very short vacation, but it's something that I absolutely enjoyed. And of course, I can't go to the US without visiting Sephora. It's one of my favorite places. I absolutely love shopping on Sephora. But recently, I've not really purchased anything from the Sephora website just because Customs has, one, been taking forever to drop packages off um, and clear. But also, um, I just wanted to be in store and like see stuff and experience stuff and then figure out whether I would like to purchase those items or not. So I just wasn't in the mood for online shopping. And then when I went to New York, I was like, yeah, okay, I definitely am going to go to Sephora. And I picked up a couple things. So I'm going to share with you guys what I actually picked up today. So I don't have it in a Sephora bag just because I had to get rid of the bag when I was traveling back home. So I just kind of have it in this Disney bag that I bought. <laughs> but basically it's all the stuff I got from Sephora. So I'm just going to pull random things out of the bag and go through the items. The first item I picked up is this Peter Thomas Roth Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. It's a 15% brightening complex. It contains niacinamide, tranexamic acid, and kojic acid. Kojic acid and um, tranexamic acid are especially potent on like colored skin or Caribbean skin. So I was really excited to pick that up. Um, right now I'm loving the Paula's Choice one. Um, and this one is, it got similar reviews to the Paula's Choice one. Um, and I was really excited to try this out. Because again, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation is something we always suffer with. Um, and I don't break out as much anymore. But I do have some like little spots that I really still want to get rid of. So yeah, picked up this. I'm excited to try it out. Um, have any of you ever tried this out before? Actually, let's open it up and see what it's like. So it comes in this tube. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. Um, why I picked this up as well was because the ingredients, the tranexamic acid and kojic acid were in like the top lines of the ingredients, which is always a plus. It means it has more active ingredients in this um, product and um, it contains a higher percentage of those active ingredients. So yeah, that's why I picked it up and I'm excited to try it out. It's sealed. Anybody else struggles to get these things off? Okay, so it's like a little cream. Doesn't really have a scent. It's very, very lightweight. Very, very, very mild scent that I've come to associate with tranexamic acid. But it's very, very light. And the product itself is very, very lightweight as well. And it dries down to basically nothing, which is nice to have on the skin because some of us don't like to feel very, very oily. The next item that I picked up was from a brand that I've wanted to try out for a while. I follow them on Instagram and their products always look so like luxurious and nice and just clean in general. And this is the Biosense. So I picked up one of their items just because I want to try out the um, brand and see if I like anything from them. And this is their Squalene and Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. Um, it's a nice, good size. It's um, 5.07 fluid ounces. Um, and this beauty brand is supposed to be very, very clean um, and gentle on skin. Um, and squalene is very hydrating. This actually smells like Pomerac, <laughs> just so weird. I picked up the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid um, and it's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is amazing for the skin. It draws water molecules into the skin and helps skin to look plump and moist. Um, and The Ordinary always has really, really good products. So I picked up one of this. So I'm actually planning to use this in my hair. Now I know Ordinary has like a line of hair products, but I've seen something on TikTok recently where somebody used some hyaluronic acid on their wet hair, um, left it on for a while and then like did it a couple times for the week and they saw a big difference in the moisture that was in their hair follicles so I'm actually trying to try this out for that um of course I can use it on my face because hyaluronic acid is really good for the skin but it should be good for hair as well so I'm excited to try that out um I'm gonna let you guys know how that works for my hair all right and this is something that I picked up for Angelo it's a scalp revival charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment this is from briogio um and he has a lot of dry scalp issues so i'm hoping this actually makes a big difference um and it was just something that i saw never tried before and i've actually tried anything from this brand before um but it's supposed to be like a really good scalp treatment so i just picked it up for him hoping that it would work for all the conditions he has going on with his scalp so yeah 
Now, this product is something that I've wanted to try since I first saw it on Instagram. Um, but again, I didn't want to like order it online. I wanted to see it in person to see how it would look on my skin and look in person in general. So this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. It's supposed to be like a BB cream-ish glow product, not really a foundation. So there's like a limited number of shades um, and it's supposed to make your skin look really, really good. And then I also saw Shanada Matsudin, which is another content creator in Trinidad, purchase it and she said it was so, so good. So she kind of like convinced me to try it out. And um, when I went there, this was actually one of the products that I went mainly to Sephora for. So I picked up the shade Light, which is 03, and I'm excited to try this out. I might actually do like a little TikTok video um, trying out this product. So excited for this one. I also picked up a Dolce & Gabbana Garden Eau de Perfume um, small spray this is one of my all-time favorite scents ever 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 if it is you like fruity scents um but if it is you also like floral scents this is the perfect combination of those two scents um and it just smells so good and it lasts forever um so i wanted a smaller size in it and i picked up their like spray their little mini spray this was actually wasn't that expensive it was 30 us um and you get a good amount um and like i said if it is you are looking for a really good perfume um and you like sweet scents but you also kind of like floral scents it's a perfect like marriage of those two scents together a very good amount like unless you're wearing this perfume every single day it's very difficult for you to like use it out god it smells so good like i know i get aggressive when i like find something that I really like. Does anybody else do that? Like get very, very aggressive. Like if you see a really cute baby, you have to like grind your teeth and be like, oh, I want to pinch you. That's how I feel about this scent. It smells so good, so good. Try it out, check it out for sure. Um, And then, you know, when you go into the aisles in Sephora, there are like these little minis um, on the way to the cash register and you always get like roped in to buy random things. Yeah, that's always me. I have to like put blinkers on whenever I join the line. Um, But I saw this and I think, yeah, I will always need woogies. You could never like have too many woogies because they go into this little dark hole and disappear forever. Um, and it's from the brand Slip. Um, and it's supposed to be really good for your hair and face because they make like pure silk stuff. Um, and it's some silk woogies. They are very, very tiny and they were such pretty colors like this champagne, burgundy and like rose goldy color combination is always amazing. Um, they have a good amount of stretch to them. Um, and the actual material is supposed to be like pure silk so it's supposed to be really nice on the hair not supposed to pull on your hair or like rub against your hair shaft or like damage it in any way and like I said the color combination is epic so yeah I picked it up because clearly that's why they made those little aisles for you to like pick shit up that you don't necessarily need didn't go in there for and somehow end up buying anyway this is another brand that I went into Sephora for um, and it's the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. I saw so many different people try it out and so many people like give such good reviews on it but again it was something that I wanted to test out for myself and just try it out to see if it's something that I will actually appreciate. Um, so this is one of their blushes. This was the item that I thought I would actually use the most out of everything that they had available um, and it's their Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in nearly apricot um, and it's supposed to be like this very very weightless blush and when I tried it out in the store it's like this cream it comes in like a cream in the container but when you like blend it out it turns into like this powdery almost light almost non-existent feeling um, item and I thought that was pretty interesting and I absolutely love this color this kind of like peachy apricot colored um, I'm not very adventurous when it comes to blushes I've literally been using the same blush for forever but this brush was something that I thought, yeah, I could probably try. Um, the packaging is really cute. It's this little like pale pinkish lavender egg. It has says Rare Beauty on it. Um, there's a little tiny mirror, which is always cute. And this is the color. Let me show you guys. So it's like this. It's like cream, right? And then when you put it on your skin, it literally turns into like a powder. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really unique. Um, and I am... Um, Again, not very adventurous, but I want to try this out and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it because it's such, I mean, my lights are so bright. 
but it is such a pretty color like a very very nice light wash of like peach which is something that I go for if you notice I don't have very very much color on my cheek and it fits right into the type of blushes that I appreciate this was something that I ended up buying just because I was like trying out random things in the store it wasn't something that I needed but again I love trying out different setting sprays I have like literally like 15 to 20 setting sprays that I just try out different ones um, and this one is from makeup and this one is from Makeup Forever, um, and it's their Mist and Fix 2. And again, like, I mean, you can't really test setting sprays out in a store. The only thing you can really tell is if it, like, is very, very tacky when it dries down or how it feels coming out of the spray bottle. But to say you could test to see if it actually works, that's something you're going to have to carry home to check out. Um, but Makeup Forever always has pretty good... Um, products and they were actually made for like stage makeup and performance makeup so I am trusting that their mix and fix is really really good um I like the way it sprayed out of the bottle it was very very gentle very like misty and not like in your face so that was what sold me on it and the fact that it was makeup forever I also picked up two um items from Danessa Ma Marix not sure if I'm pronouncing the brand properly, but the reason I purchased this was because I saw somebody on TikTok create a look, um, and it's one of those like glossy eye looks, and she used these two products, and I was just like, mm, those look so amazing, and they're supposed to work really, really well. So this one is just a clear glaze, and this one is a kind of orangey color, and you can use these products on your eyelids, your lips, and your cheeks, so it's like a multi-purpose product, um, and it's clear, so you can always use it as a clear gloss, but I really want to try to recreate that eye look, so it's just something that I went specifically for, because there's a look in my mind that I want to create and if it's something you're interested in tell me down below if you want to see me create a look with those like wet finish eyelid looks so yeah I picked up these two let me just show you guys it's literally like lip gloss products they look like lip gloss <laughs> so see it's like this really nice silver packaging comes in like a lip gloss container and this is again a very gorgeous color um, again something I would use as a lip color anyway um, but it will also look very nice on the cheeks then I picked up the most random item ever this was like an impulse buy I don't know what <laughs> what made me pick this up but again I think I just want to see how it felt on the lips um, and I was just like mm, you're getting three for like a very good price so I just was like yeah I'm gonna try it I do not need these items I have naturally very big lips so many people assume that I have my lips done on a regular like I get at least Two to three messages every week to find out where do you get your lips done and i'm like guys no this is my natural lips my mom and dad blessed me with really nice lips um but yeah i just want to try this out so please don't judge me too hard right this is a two-faced lip injection extreme yeah i don't need it but it's a lip plumper um and the two-faced lip injection is supposed to be one of those really popular products that everybody uses to create that like plump lip um, look um, I don't need it but I want to try it out I want to see how this actually feels on the lips um, and the colors were pretty so I'm like yeah I'm actually gonna do this in a like TikTok video I want to see how big my lips actually look after this so if that's something you want to see let me know let me know yeah. and then this again is another impulse buy and it's something that I definitely don't need especially because I don't think I am extremely pale. I might be pale compared to like Caribbean standards, but in reality, I'm not a pale person. Um, I have like yellowish undertones. Um, but I saw this on TikTok. TikTok is the devil, right? Because you pick up a bunch of random shit wherever you go anywhere because of TikTok. And yeah, right? So I saw this on TikTok and it gave the girl a really nice clue. And again, it was something I wanted to see how it would work because I was like, no way that looks like that and gives you such an amazing glow. So this is the Isle of Paradise self-tanning water. And I think this is the only brand that I know of that does self-tanning water. So normally I know like self-tans are like these sprays that you have to like rub with a mitt. Um, and this one is supposed to be like self-tanning water. And the girl used one of those like continuous misting bottles. She sprayed it on, left it on for like a couple hours and then her skin looked so glowy and sun-kissed. Um, and again, this is not something that I need, but it was something that I wanted to try out just to see how it works. Um, so if you guys want to see me try this out to see if it actually makes a difference on my complexion, um, I got the medium. Um, and then then I picked up this gloss bomb in heat from Fenty this color looks so so pretty in person and I was like yeah I love the Fenty lip glosses I have one the clear one right now I love the diamond one I love the milk one it just is amazing right um, and I was like listen listen when I saw this online I was like I need to get it and yeah so I picked it up it's this really really pretty like like popsicle red color 
her glasses oh it smells so so good and I don't know it's just this really nice wash of like cherry and I'm really into that recently where it's not like a full-on color on my lip but like just a wash of color I really appreciate and I've been into that recently so picked it up and I really like it and then I picked up this Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I've heard so many good things about the Olaplex line. I've never tried out anything from them. I always automatically assumed it was a line for like Caucasian hair. But I've also seen a lot of people with like textured hair try it out and love it. So I was like, yeah, it was really, really affordable in Sephora. Most of the Olaplex line was like less than 30 US dollars in Sephora, which is really good because in Trinidad, whenever you buy Olaplex, it's a lot of money. Um, and my hair could always use more moisture because it's curly it tends to be drier so I picked up this number eight bond intense moisture mask and I'm going to try it out and hopefully it makes a big difference because so far a lot of people rave about this brand and finally this is the last product that I actually purchased the girl gave me a bunch of like samples so I'm going to share some of these samples with you guys but yeah so this was something again I bought because I was in the store and it just looked interesting and the name just kind of like intrigued me because why is the name of this hair care kit bread so I was just like yeah I don't know I just want to try it out because it looked really interesting so they sell the individual items but this one comes in a kit and it kind of worked out more economical to buy it in the kit um it's supposed to be this curly kinky um hair care line and it said bread and I just was like yeah I don't know why would they call it bread so maybe it's because it's so like essential to your hair care routine that it's like bread um but basically in here you get the hair wash the hair mask the hair oil and a puff like a hair tie um so yeah I'm gonna try this out and let you guys know how I like this brand um it just looked really interesting and that's literally why I purchased it the packaging and the name I don't know have any of you ever tried anything from, have you ever heard about this brand? Because I've never heard about this brand before going into Sephora that day. And uh, yeah. And then the girl gave me like a lot of samples because she was like, you spent a good amount of money and I might as well just give you like literally a lot of samples, right? So she gave me three of these. This was the Hum Gummies with Benefits. It's for your hair. So I guess it's like on that same sugar bear hair gummies um the thing is i would not necessarily use this because it co does contain biotin and i'm very very super sensitive to ingested biotin my skin tends to break out really really easily with biotin so i avoid it at all costs but i will give it to angelo because he seems to be pretty okay and in each of these you get two gummies so yeah she gave me two of this brazilian bum bum cream and it's an actually a good like sample size this is actually i probably get like two to three uses out of this sample and she gave me two of them and a lot of people like this um brazilian bum bum cream line so yeah this amica um bust your brass well i'm not blonde so i don't know why she gave me like this purple shampoo <laughs> but i do have a blonde wig so i could use it on the wig um and it could get like i could probably get like a full wash and shampoo and condition Ning out of this sample eight of these dennis gross extra strength daily peel pads now funny story about this i was actually going to purchase this from belarus before i went away this was before i actually decided i was going away or anything um and they were all out of the pads so this is a way for me to try out the pads without like actually having to spend that money because the belarus one is about 888 or 880 dollars which is a lot of money to spend on some pads and I think you get like 30 pads in there and here I get like eight so I'm really excited to have this and try it out um, I've heard like good and bad things about these pads but yeah it's supposed to be really good for hyperpigmentation as well and she gave me I've never heard about this brand Amore Pacific or more Pacific um, and it's a treatment enzyme peel um, and cleansing powder and she gave me three of those so I don't even know what this is. So use when washing the face in the morning and night, dispense the powder onto your palm and add a small amount of water to fully lather. So it's a cleansing wash. Um, she also gave me a pharmacy green clean makeup melting cleansing balm. Um, I'm always interested in trying out new ones of this. I'm yet to find one that I absolutely love. Um, I really am interested in trying out the Juno and Co one, um, but I've just not picked it up. I don't know why. Why have I not picked up the Juno and Co one? Yeah. So this one is from Pharmacy and I'll try it out and see if I actually like how it works. And then I got two other things from Pharmacy. This is their Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Treatment um, and it's a good size sample. This is 
five mils so that's actually a really good size sample and she gave me two of them and the last thing she gave me was a moroccan oil moroccan treatment um, sample again this is a really good sample size it's 10 mils um, and it's good for like roots as well as the ends of the hair um, and i love this brand and it smells really nice all the time and that's basically all I picked up from Sephora. It wasn't really that many items, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got. Um, going into Sephora after so long was always so exciting to me, and I absolutely love being in Sephora. I think most of us do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have questions, if you have comments, please, please message me. I absolutely love interacting with you guys. And yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.